So this is Javed Iqbal uh, and uh, today uh, we are going to discuss the remaining part of uh, this chapter 7, the story of Kish. So in the previous lecture we were discussing that uh, Kish has to work hard in order to provide some sort of livelihood for their uh, Igbo uh, tribe as well, Igloo tribe as well. So hi, uh, however, on the other hand, the, the people who were residing in the tribe, they had no choice but to be loyal to this man-child. So this line means that uh, they, all the people, they have to depend on uh, uh, Kish and because Kish was the only courageous and brave boy who has to come up with some sort of freshly meat and in order to give them some sort of livelihood. So as he had begun to provide them all with bounteous food, Kish had the appreciative villagers construct for him an enormous igloo uh, rivaling that of the chief. After more speculations and any do as to the source of Kish hunting prowlers, uh, uh, it was decided to send two scouts to follow him on a hunting exhibition. So uh, once uh, the Kish was was sent on the hunting and uh, in order to understand that rather uh, the hunting is real or not uh, the igloo tribes uh, they send some of the two boys uh, behind the quiche in order to uh, uh, recognize in order to identify that rather quiche is telling the truth or not so uh, they returned several days later having been successful in trailing Kish uh, to his kill um, an enormous uh, uh, and dangerous polar bear so when they when they come back when they came back after several uh, days so they came uh, up uh, uh, with the point that uh, uh, that uh, that the Kish has killed an enormous bear and uh, he is very uh, uh, he is a very uh, courageous and brave boy they told a tale that the tribal council simply didn't believe upon this return the tribal gathered in Kish igloo to accuse him of witchcraft. He answered their charges well. Kish explained the source of his hunting success. He explained why the two scouts sent to follow him observed him striding up to the beer, enraging it and convincing it to follow him. So uh, now one point students here is very clear that now they all have understand the power of Kish. They all have understand the courageous acts which were performed by the Kish. So he explained why the scout witnessed him his leaving small round balls of food on the ice for the beer and why the beer soon became ill and deranged. He explained how he was then able to spear the beer without endangering himself. So that show the again the majestic power of uh, Kish that shows again the thing which the Kish was doing during his hunting. So uh, in this way we came to know that Kish basically is a very uh, brave boy. Kish is again a courageous boy who shows some sort of accent, who shows the uh, courage of, uh, he shows the uh, feats of bravery and uh, after this uh, uh, the, the, the igloo tribe they tried to believe him that uh, he obviously uh, he has some sort of guts and he has the guts of his father and uh, he can perform well in every expedition and he can do uh, the uh, dangerous task the previous task for his um, the tribe as well so students in the last i'm going to tell you that uh, uh, the, the question answers and the word sentences is for the homework and you can do this from your notes which has already given to you so you can follow the uh, notes uh, uh, which you have collected on the result day and from the notes you can uh, write down the question answers and word sentences on your need copies and um, that's all for the today's lecture i will see you in the next lecture in the next week if you have any query any problem you can come to the school and join me thank you